إلى الله نمضي يا هنيئا لمن سبق ويا حق قلب من تقى الله قد خفق تمر بنا الأيام سرعة أننا نرى سرعة الأيام كالبرق إن برق فإن كنت ذا لعب الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليذر على دينه كل وكفى بالله شهيدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد Dream is a gift from Allah, Rabbul Izza, and dream interpretation is a vast knowledge. And it needs one who excels in religion and in a spiritual. Dreams is very important for Muslim to know the categories of the dream. The dream are in three types, one from oneself, one from the devil, one from Allah, and a device, two from Allah. glad tiding and warning the one from oneself is whatever you see during the day the one from the shaitan is the one which he bombards you with the nightmares the one from allah is warning and glad tiding example of the warning are when you're heedless totally heedless in terms of the religion in terms of how you do business in terms of how you deal with your neighbors in terms of how you deal with your friends in terms of how you deal with your family how you deal with your parents you may get a warning call from Allah Rabbul Izza and if you are the one who Allah wants to guide you now the glad tiding ones are the ones which Allah gives you glad tiding either you entering jannah either you die as a martyr either Allah knows best how he brings them to you but today i'm going to discuss six of them the glad tidings dream which are very very important for the brothers and sisters to know and the muslims to know so the dream the glad tiding dreams are very very important for us to know them and there are so many allah knows best how he brings them and how he makes his slave dream about it there was a brother who sent me an email a few weeks back i decided to compile a video about this dream it was a good dream Dream number one is about charity. If you dream of you giving charity, giving money, giving clothes, giving dates, giving food, giving anything to anybody in the dream, it's a very good dream. Very, very good dream. Now, if you're in your calamity, you'll come out from your calamity. If you're sick, you'll come out from your sickness. Why do I say that? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Dawu marzakum bi sadaqa. Cure your sick with charity. Now if you do not give charity and you dream you're giving charity you need to act upon it so during the day when you are awake you give charity in abundance because charity is very very good charity will protect you from hellfire charity will protect you from calamities charity will cure your problem charity is very very good so engage in giving charity Now if you have no calamity you have no nothing and well equipped everything blessing and everything and you dream of giving charity and you don't give charity you start giving charity but if you give charity and you dream of giving charity you will excel and Allah knows best how you're going to excel number 2 is you drinking honey you been in a honeycomb where there's loads of honey but the bees are not thinking you you drinking the honey enjoying the honey you buying and the honey you been given the honey as a gift you drinking the honey lose and enjoying it now if you are sick you will come up from your sickness if you go stomach problem you will come up from your stomach problem if you go eye problem you will get better from there because allah says in the quran fi shifa'u lin nas he has a cure for human beings this is honey honey is very very good So if you dream of honey being given as a gift again you buying it you drinking it it's very very good dream number 3 you entering the market and buying vegetable or being given as a gift vegetable or you eating vegetable in the market it's a very good dream if you are not facing any calamity you will excel if you are facing any calamity you will come out from your calamity if there is any disease you, you will get cured Dream number 4 is you dreaming of reading the Quran. Quran is a very very good book. It's a book of Allah and it's the words of Allah. It's kalim Allah. If you dream you reading or you hearing the Quran but not hearing you don't know what 
uh, it is you hearing but you don't know what verse it is you hearing but you forget and you say oh this is not correct but you need to know the ayah number one number two if you are reading you need to know what you are reading for your dream to be said this dream is from Allah Rabbul Izza but shaitan can play tricks as well now if you see yourself reading the Quran ayah specifically for example hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil if you see yourself reading surah fatiha muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam just says surah fatiha is surah of shifa you will come out from any calamity because allah says wa hadha kitabun anzalnahu mubarak we've sent this book down and is a blessed book and allah also say wa nunazzilu min alquran ma huwa shifa We've seen the Quran as a cure, so you'll come out from any disease. If you got heart disease, you'll come out from it. If you got eye disease, if you got body disease, whatever disease you come out, you'll come out of it. But make sure that you hear the Quran, you know the ayah you're hearing. Make sure you know the surah you're reading in the dream you hear. Dream needs to be vivid. Number five is you seeing the rain, rain dropping down, and you drinking and you enjoying the rain. You happy enjoying it. Now if you have calamities you'll come up from your calamity if you have possession the possession will go if you have any disease your disease will go if you have nothing you'll excel because Allah says in the Quran we've sent down the rain to cleanse you from shaitan this is why if you see yourself in a rain and the rain's dropping and you enjoying it you will come up from all your calamity if not you will excel if you have no problem but if you see the opposite meaning you see the rain destroying and bombarding everything this has a different meaning this is a calamity we ask Allah to protect us from any calamity number 6 you seen yourself drinking zamzam or you in the well of zamzam swimming or you are drinking loads of water near the well of zamzam or somebody is giving you zamzam as a gift or you are buying zamzam water this is a very good dream if you are poor you'll come out from your poor if you are hungry you'll come out from your hunger if you are sick you'll come out from your sickness why do i say the muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says zamzam water quenches the hunger zamzam water is a cure for any disease this is zamzam water so you see zamzam water you drinking zamzam water you being in a zamzam well drinking zamzam water you showering with zamzam water someone giving you zamzam water it's a very very good dream ask allah to make it easy for all of us ask allah to cure those who've got a problem ask allah to remove the calamity in the muslim ummah Now if you have any question send me an email inshallah and if it's very important and it's very good I will compile and then talk about it just like today the way I compiled and talked about these glad tiding dreams wa akhiru da'wana wa salamun 'alal mursalin walhamdulillahirabbil alamin